okay i never got to talk about the whole pandemic and our wedding plans we are fine so if you guys are worried you don't have to worry because we're fine okay i am just super excited and i can't wait <laughs> I'm just thirsty. I'm gonna feel festive, so. <laughs> Hi, babies. Miss Tufania. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you are new here, I am Tash. And I go by Miss Tufania. And I do a mixture of makeup, vlogs, lifestyle, literally everything. So, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. Join the fam this is my final wedding update i i cannot say how close i am to the wedding date at this point because if i said anything you guys will know so i have to keep that one a little secret you know my photos keep that and i'm a little secret pan so if you guys are interested in hearing all about what has been done and if we are ready which we are then definitely just keep on watching but before i get into the video i know you guys are gonna be asking me about this tea and i bought this from tea ting so you can definitely check them out on instagram i will link their instagram down in the description box so with no further ado just let's just get right into the video so as i always come and i tell you i usually write in my wedding planner and i got this from one of my bridesmaids and it actually well it did not help me in terms of using all the steps that it came with because as i told you guys i do have a planner and she's literally doing everything from planning down to day of coordination floral all of that so i'm i'm just doing the bare minimum here okay i'm definitely gonna miss doing these updates but as i close this chapter you know obviously we'll move into another chapter but um i'm just going to let you guys know what's been happening for the last month plus you know leading up to the wedding you guys saw where i vlogged the groomsmen suit so unfortunately the company that we found downtown they did not have enough size for the guys and so we ended up ordering online and i'm going to do a more detailed video on that because the suits look so good even though they are a little bit expensive it's the same place the groom got his suit so i'm definitely gonna do a video on that to help you know because you know we as the wives we do most of the work and you know can help the guys so i know most of the females will watch the video so they can help the husband to be i did my final dress fitting final dress fitting meaning you know when when i tried the dress it wasn't it needed some adjustment and uh so i had to go in for them to adjust it to fit me which this is also at an additional cost separate and apart from what i pay to rent the dress but i'll share that in the budget breakdown whenever we get to that video so you can look out for that video it's gonna come i'm going to break down literally everything for you guys okay so don't worry and i also after i went in to fit the dress so that you could adjust just it you went ahead adjust the dress and i went back in to fit the dress again so that, you know everything is good and ready for the big day which it did and i went on my own the last time so i did not i i did a vlog because i have been vlogging for a couple of, yeah i i try to vlog stuff i don't post it but you know i save it for later and after the wedding you know time leading up to the wedding day so you guys will definitely see those vlogs once the wedding has passed so you guys can look out for those as it relates to picking up the dress in jamaica you well the place that i rent my dress i have to pick up the dress the day before and i also have to drop off the dress the day after the wedding so i cannot sit on the dress uh so i'm just letting you guys know that and obviously if i don't drop it off the next day after the wedding i will have to pay a late fee and i also have a 
refundable i have a refund to collect if it is that i bring back the dress in good condition which obviously i'm going to try my best to do because you know obviously other persons want to rent the dress so i'm going to try my best not to do anything to the dress i know mishaps can happen but let's hope for the best i had my final sit down with the planner you know to go through things because as i said she's doing my bouquet she's doing the boutonniere for the guys she's also doing the flower thing for the moms i don't know what you call that i never researched that but she is in charge of you know getting the programs printed the menu cards the table seating chart um the welcome sign so you know she's literally doing almost everything as i tell you guys like i just show her what i want and you know she just delivers uh yeah so i did my final sit down and we went through to say okay all uh, we need to do is for the day to come with us get dressed and ready i'm really not trying to make this video long so i'm just running through i as you can see i had my bridal shower and the vlog is also up so you guys can definitely go ahead and check it out i had to do it in two parts because it was a little lengthy i won't get to do a bachelorette you know because of the pandemic and the curfew here in jamaica is at 8 p.m so and all my girls are working class so we are just going to forego the bachelorette i mean we have a pj party that we're going to do the night before so obviously i'll be vlogging so you guys will get to see it. so you guys can look out for that um but it will be something like because i don't want to get up the morning of the wedding day and be tired so yeah i also finally booked my hair stylist i paid my balance in full so it's just for me to turn up so as you guys know i as i mentioned before i'm going to be doing my own makeup so yeah my friend did a trial we just did a trial just to do a trial see but i had already made a decision that i'm going to do my own makeup so as i told you guys my friend she offered to do the makeup and i can say makeup by shards offered to do my girl's makeup and i'm really grateful i probably should have put this in it when i was talking about me doing my own makeup she's gonna do my girl's makeup my nail tech offered to do a money and petty for me and i'm so grateful and she said i was like oh my god that's huge thank you and so i can't wait to do my nails <laughs> but i was excited to get my nails done because one broke i just took off everything else so i'm just gonna wait until it's time for the wedding then i'll put my nails on yeah i had to thank her because i was like i'm so thankful like you know the budget for my nails and whatever but to hear that i getting it done as i gave that's uh, so sweet so thank you to my nail tech she probably can watch this video i collected the souvenirs so you guys can look out for the wedding hall obviously when that hall comes you'll get to see it, but i can't post it before the wedding you understand i went over the final details with the photographer and the videographer and i also did a wedding day itinerary so that you know things can go you know every hour and all trying to stay on top of things because as i mentioned i want to be early for my wedding day so let's really hope that i do get to get to my wedding on time i'm really really trying so let's see how it goes and so far i haven't been stressed or overwhelmed if it's overwhelmed it's overwhelmed with joy that i'm finally gonna get married you know and but outside of that i think everything is good because you know as i said i have a planner so i'm literally not doing anything so i don't feel stressed uh i'm just excited honestly and i thank god for that the bridal party the dress as i told you guys we did get somebody to make the dress coach and bride coach and dot bridal on instagram uh so you guys can definitely check them out she is so good guys the dresses look amazing i listen I can't wait for us to dress them because I dress them nice. I got I sent off my vows to be printed because we're putting it on a card form because we want to save those cards. You know, like every anniversary we can look back on our vows and you know stuff like that. So yes, those will be printed. We set a date for our wedding rehearsal. So we're just looking forward to doing the rehearsal. We did our marriage counseling and that was really, really nice. It was really good. You know, just to hear the pastor, the first day we sat down with him, he was like, he's in good spirit. Like he feels the love and he said he is 
honestly so happy to marry us you know and he one of uh, one of the things he said you know like he said that he has turned on couples before you know with counseling things come up and so he would say okay i don't feel like you guys are ready to get married maybe like you know reflect on some things and then make a decision after but yeah he said he was happy to marry us and i felt so good in my spirit like you know like we know that uh, despite what we have been through we know that we want to be in this thing forever and yeah it just felt good when we went to the counseling session and the pastor one of the time he was like like honestly if you guys are pretending to be good like you guys are really good actors and he must say like him, him not only see the love but he does feel the love between the two of you know and yeah it does i mean granted that we already know that we love each other but you know it just felt good that somebody on the outside looking in can say like him feel the love so yeah we did the counseling and i would encourage everybody to do, if it's even two sessions because that's what we did so as i mentioned everything for me is ready i went from head to toe like i said my hair my accessories my makeup my dress my jewelry my garter you know i go from head to toe like the stuff them that i need i'm also going to be doing a video packing my stuff for the day of the wedding and i'm also going to do a video packing my stuff for my honeymoon so you guys can definitely look out for those i'm excited to do those videos and i'm so i feel so good that you guys are enjoying the wedding series as well so i had to put that out there babe he has everything as well he got his suit he ordered his shoes yeah uh, listen man things not hard man things not hard for like you know it's not as hectic as a female uh so he basically have everything which i'm excited him suit looks so good i can't wait for the same suit him suit look boy yeah i'm just gonna put that out here bridesmaid sam she did some souvenirs i am actually going to be opening the box for the first time when I'm doing my wedding haul so you guys will get to see my reaction for the first time she will also get to see my reaction so thank you Sammy I can't wait for you guys to see those souvenirs my nose is gonna look nice my maid of honor Steph she did some glass invitation and you guys will see the glass invitation in the wedding hall as well as the bridal shower vlog it's a super cute and she brought the idea to me I was like oh my god Steph this is a lot it's cute but it's a lot and I, and I never planned on printing any wedding invitation i was just going to send it out um via soft copy so you know they could just rsvp online but when she said that uh, the invitation could have also been a souvenir i was like okay girl yeah so she did two samples and you know she did everything so everybody's going to have an invitation souvenir it looks so cute i can't wait for you guys to see it so i did the seating chart layout i submit the seating chart i so you know my previous bad so i'm gonna do the seating chart i did the music as in everything that we want to do because i wanted them to have everything ready so them the last minute to the thing i mess up my thing because more that flip is an side i understand so i'm gonna like for me late so i do everything seating chart wedding uh the, the the wedding music the menu card the program info the mc rundown as to how the reception going to go so i'm literally on top of things for the most part which is why i'm grateful and i would say to everybody that's getting married just do not wait until last minute because listen that's when you get flustered and you're just all over the place and obviously i'll get overwhelmed so i feel like because we have been doing things so that's some of the previous because we took took our time to get stuff done i feel like everything should go according to plan so let's pray together lord cover us on that day that is to come and just to ensure that everything goes smooth for us so yes god i know that you'll see us through for that day so let, i hope i can come back and say guys i did not have to rush to do anything and my wedding went on time and we just did the thing literally how i want to come on here and, and talk by the way <laughs> we got on the wrong throne 
so by the way my sister hosted the bridal shower and even though i told her off camera i still wanted to come on camera to just let her know that sash you did an absolutely amazing job and i loved it i did enjoy myself so thanks sash thanks to the girls for you know putting my bridal shower together and Chevelle got the sound man and the lighting in another room i never vlog that part of the bridal show because we was just vibing but yeah big up on herself for putting my show together i did have a lot of fun like can we do this again again can we do this again please yeah we can just do a better show just for a better show sake you know that little vibe there eh? yeah the transportation portion of it that's the only thing that i think that needs to be sorted out but i feel like everybody's on their own so they just need to find a way there so what i'm gonna do closer to the time i'll just send out a message to just give them the location again because i don't want a soul to call me on the day to ask me where they are supposed to go and i mean the address is also on the invitation but just in case i'm going to send out a message closer to the time so that they can know where they're actually going so you guys saw on instagram where i was asking about the stands i did purchase my sand ceremony sands i purchased the jars as well uh, and as i said i have been vlogging my day-to-day -day activity like if i do anything about the wedding and stuff like that i try to vlog it even if i just come on camera to say hey today i am going to do xyz i may not show you like walking into the store to do this because you know it's jamaica i don't want to take out my phone and then next thing you know somebody just grab my phone and gone i'm okay i'm I need my phone for my wedding day and forever more at that got phone don't cheap you guys will get to see the vlogs oh my god i'm just so excited i can't believe i i say this every time but I honestly cannot believe and we are so close yet so far to the date but i am just excited to get ready oh my god what no 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 we're not doing this today we are not doing this today but oh my <laughs> Woo. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. just back just back but yeah i this is my final update so if you have made it to the end of the video made it to the end of the wedding series thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for following me on this journey and this is just the end of this chapter but as i open a new chapter i'll take you guys along with me even if i don't post it in real time i will be vlogging for whatever i want to do so i don't know if you can guess the next step then you can guess the next stop right but yeah next stop is to the top okay so yeah whatever i do and i can share it i'll definitely share with you guys because you guys saw me from where i just started listen my girl come far even if i'm still in at the same house i've still grown a lot and but that's how I acknowledge every step I'm going to take, every progress I make, I have to rejoice about that. So I just want to say here, thanks to literally everybody. Everybody? What? Thanks to... <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to literally everybody who has made this journey for me. Easy, smooth, exciting, joyful, like everything that's good for all the gifts that i've received and to receive thank you thanks in advance you know i i'm just excited to get married to the love of my life he's literally the love of my life like he's the love of my life period <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah and it's so cute to see how excited he is like you guys don't understand he does not really get excited for anything like even though he's excited you know i'm not really sure same excited i don't know if i explain that but you know i'm just chill and laid back even on our first 
time traveling together he was excited but you know what he never really like how me that say oh my god babe we're gonna travel for the first time wait, wait, wait. no no he's just still excited but he never sure about for the wedding guys he's excited and listen me gonna just give on a day me gonna just tell him this the 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 men the fiancés the husbands to be little to no planning him now though okay so i can just look out for that but keep him in the loop I have a video coming that i'll talk on that so when i touch on that you guys will get to hear it but yeah i'm just excited to tie the knot with the love of my life my soulmate my best friend my partner in crime my motivational speaker Ma, him no offer calm down when me about to lose it, but yeah, thanks to each and every one of you. I say thanks for 100 time, but thank you guys so much. Thanks to my subscriber, we're almost at 12k. Let's get to 20k. Let's get to 20k, guys. Let's get to 20k and then 30 and then 40, then 100. Okay, okay, so today's shout out goes to. Steph, the original, she said it's obby in the background for me. As someone for compliment, nice woman, nice like Jasmine Rice, top truth. So, yeah, girl, big up you. <laughs> yeah, I think men should compliment their women in general. Uh, yeah, so what's the next one? It's Asha says, right there's a tash. Here, Danzo la def. <laughs> no, the night but it look good for true, but not telling a lie. Cindy Baptist Charles says, always like and subscribe to your video. Can't wait to see the wedding video. Congratulations to you both. Love all your videos. Love from Fancy St. Vincent. Oh, thank you so much. Uh... Nikayla Williams says, if somebody don't tell you, say nice like Jasmine or Basmati Rice, I'm gonna know why you do what? I'm gonna know what you do with your life. Girl! <laughs> Alright, the last one is Glowing with the KDB. This nice bad. Thank you so much, honey. Alright, I can do another one. Kim Sanderson says, eyes are popping. Thank you so much, honey. That's it for the shout out for today. Thank you guys so much for the love. I love you all so, so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye, babies. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.